Hello Georgia B Cards and Stuff Welcome back Today I'd like to show you how I made this card using the new stamp set to me Art Gallery and today we're going to be using this stamp the two pet big flower stamps that little stamp and this little stamp and also the word congratulations which I never got out Ooh. Trying to find a block to put it on. Right. We'll also be needing the leaf die, the big flower die, small flower die, and sentiment die. Ah. The other day I made a card with a rose on it and I cut out a sentiment and it looks like this one but I didn't have this set when I made that card. I still don't know where that die come from that I used. It looks like this one but I didn't have this stamp set so it must have come out of a different stamp set. That'll be bugging me. Uh, anyway, get back to this one. Um, yeah. Ah, I haven't got none of them. I'll have to add them afterwards because they've come out of the curvy die set. Let me get it. They did. I need a piece of old olive or a piece of green. Got some. So, it's this one I used. I think I cut them out to make another card on a curvy card and I never used them, but I used them on this one. So, we'll use them on there. Right then, the card, I'm going to change the colour. And I'm going to use Rococo Rose. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored up four and one eighth, folded in half. A piece of Rococo Rose at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I have embossed half of it with the basket weave embossing folder. I have got a piece of paper that's five and five eighths across no three and seven eighths across and it was five and five eighths and I just cut it in half using the curvy dies that's where that dies come from um with this one that's how I had thought of using this as well that oh, got me so and that will go on there And then for the stamps, because I have already stamped out one big flower and two small flowers, we need to do another big one and another small one. And I used Blushing Bride and Rococo Rose Ink on the flowers and Old Olive on the leaves. And we need another leaf. So let's get inking. I've got some scraps here. So, with our Blushing Bride, we will do a big flower. Like that. And one of these small flowers. them with Rococo Rose no not that one 
just use that, this one. We are going to put this in and all you do is just, all I do is line it up with the bottom piece and pop it on. It's like a hit and miss thing. Now this one, it's only the middle flower that gets a piece of this because there isn't one for the sides but I think that looks nice anyway just with the middle flower so that's that done oh, for Coco Rose we need the word congratulations so like that that needs cutting out, they need cutting out and now we need a leaf so with old olive and our leaf dye we will pop that on there like that Right, let's cut all these out. Bring the scissors in. Do I need the scissors? No, not for this one. Place the die on. Bit of tape to keep it down. And run it through. I'll leave them out. Ah. So I'll do this next. Oh, congratulations. these flowers I know do the little one first and there's our little flower and now we have our big flower. And tape that down so it don't move. There's our flower. Right, what we're going to do with these flowers is with the leaves, as you can see, I've cut that one. What I'm going to do is cut down there a bit, like that because what I want to do is pop the leaf over the top of the flower like that and then this piece sits on top like that it just mixes up the leaves under the flowers no, wrong way
and this one. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll take our glue and we'll glue a bit that's sticking behind. My glue's not working. Oh, my glue's clogged up. Let's get another one. I haven't got a pin near me to unblock it. See if this one works. Oh, they're both blocked. I don't believe that. I was just using this one as well. Oh, there it is. Right. some glue on there and then fit that around the back take our back dimensionals off and sit that on like that do the same on this one So glue on the back. Slide that down like that. And sit them on the top. Like that. Yeah. So now we can stick them on our ooh, card. Let me put it on the wrong side. And this goes right up to the top. Like that. And then we'll glue this down. Put some extra glue on the emboss bit. And loop it down. Right, these flowers I had placed one, there like that, and this like that. Oh, I never cut out. Let's cut out my green. Two green bits. This is an old olive, this is pepper's ass, but that don't matter. One. Leave you there. Just 
glue together at the bottom. Like that. And they will sit behind the flower. So let's glue these down. just there and this one it's under that one a bit like that there and these two oh no this one first went under there like that and these two went under this one That's how I arranged the flowers. And this went on dimensionals along the bottom. So we need dimensionals. Small ones. Place that just there. Now the pearls bits all over the place. I have these little tiny pearls. As you can see, I've coloured, I coloured loads of purple ones in. So with my Rococo Rose blender pen, I am gonna. This is the dark one, by the way. Colour five in. with my ink I'm going to put down two here with my ink with my glue got the right one no Five little ah. Uh, 
use it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.